It's time for Heavy Bro! Oh, I didn't expect to see you here, high metal! Hello! Because it's because it's the high metal armor set. So laugh. Oh yes, my fellow hunters, ladies and gentlemen, the next of our weapon previews are here, and it's for the big meaty shooter of monsters that is the heavy bowgun. And I've seen comments like Oh, God, sad to everyone that thought it would be Longsword or, you know, something next. And that is not fair. Boguns are traditionally over there in every Monster Hunter game being the best goddamn weapon when it comes to pure, lovely output. And we need to respect that fact. On top of the additional fact that it's looking ridiculously cool. So obviously this is your big standard Metal Path Bowgun. And also, look at the armor. Right, before we even get anywhere, this is, as I said, the high metal set. But look at the texturing on it, the actual scratches and or like watermarks and sun blemishes, like the, the wear and tear on it actually being reflected in the windward plane sun is so cool. Like that's immediately such a level of fidelity that just makes me tingle all over. Wow. And I've not even always been the biggest fan of that armor set. I think it's a bit too bulky, but at the same time, no, I'm, I'm coming around to it with that. Wow. So, it does look like we have a lot of d -d 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 going on, but also, what is this, like, flamethrower attachment that is mounted on the right there? Hell, the end of it is even lit up like a blowtorch does to metal, the kind of blue tinging going up on it. The heat, obviously, being let out through those holes, like a sort of fuel bottle with the Hunter's Guild slotted into the top. That is very exciting. And then, yeah, the full look at the high metal. Even just the environments in these are such a treat to see. So, I'm assuming Wyvernheart is what's doing that, but... I guess we'll get into it. A little bit of Dashu Gamma and uh, this sort of earlyish area in the Windward Plains. It looks like bordered by the cliffs and the lightning struck rocks are raising out over the uh, grass. Yeah, long range weapon, fires ammo for a distance. And yeah, that is rapid shot on a heavy bowgun, which is already a uh, big step forward. My only concern about this really is that light bowgun still gets to keep some sort of distinct identity because of it. And and also, I'm terrified the amount of DPS that rapid shooting on a heavy bowgun can do. Ah, there we go. So, uh, he is attaching this ignition mode attachment to the bowgun. And then you've got a gorge for it. It gives you special ammo. So maybe this will actually be replacing Wyvern Heart and Wyvern Snipe? Or maybe additionally? Well, obviously, we need to know that what uh, Bowgun's new uh, kind of moves are, like the Greatsword Scrape, the Uppercut, and this distinctly is then one of them. So we have the bar that looks like Wyvern Heart bar when you use it. Okay, so yeah, it is doing the da -da 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 like Wyvern Heart does. The bar's going down. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's more than just raw damage mounting based on you actually attaching it with this kind of heat effect looking at canister. Oh! Okay, so you hit shots and then you get your energy back on it. It's not just a pure time thing. That's actually really, really cool. So the question is, is it just pure damage, or is it going to be flavoured in different ways? Could you get different little side attachments here? That's really, really curious. And we also have the three big explosive looking shells that kind of give me the light bowgun mine vibes that recharge over time, but obviously this is on a heavy bowgun. So that's quite fascinating. And actually, yeah, you can see the attachment glowing hotter and hotter as it tries to handle the heat of the rounds that you're pumping out. That's really cool. Essentially, a more involved, manageable Wyvernheart with it filling up as you do shots and having a lot more control over it, which is really, really nice and a very fun visual to it. All right, what else you got then, uh, Mr. Heavy Bogun? I still can't get over rapid shot on Heavy Bogun. 
gun, surely light bow gun, I have to guess would go in the mobility direction, like we saw a few of those with the silk binds, and that's the way to really make it stand out, make it much less of a stand your ground lance-esque ranged weapon, and go in the more long sword -y dual blades vibe? I really am actually looking forward to light bow gun, just because heavy bow gun is stepping on its toes currently. On top of the auto guard function, you can also guard incoming attacks manually. That's really, really nice. Is this implying then the auto guard is built in or still needs to be an attachment? Because that's definitely a distinction. But being able to just choose to block manually is also really, really lovely for the heavy bow gun. Is that a counter shot? Looks like it, right? Getting a hit. And then a little step back, and then a black. Yeah! And Doshugawa's really not a fan of that. It looks like they've really gone for, yeah, the tank of guns. You've got more blocking functionality, you've got this retaliatory shot, you've got a proper flow to Wyvern Heart regening it, and they've taken this big metal path and the high metal armor to really sort of sell that stand your groundness. That's a really fun flavor for the heavy bowgun, which really does reinforce to me that light bowgun's gonna be the opposite, light, nimble, swift, hit and run, flanking at shots esque vibe. Focus mode, tiger one to wounds, yep, so that's when we're seeing it. And that looks snipey? Why even snipey? Are we gonna see the special ammo in use? Ah, there it is! So a little charge up and then pop, and we use one of our free uh, shots. And it's also burning out of uh, the attachment. Oh, is it like sticky ammo? It's on his face, right? Yeah, and then it explodes a second time. So, it's a inbuilt, uh, more potent, like, sticky shot to use from those. Oh! Okay, yeah! We've seen that in a few of the other trailers, the little fanned out four prong. But we did also see it completely explode before. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, there's the, there's the explosion. Was that just timed well before the hitbox got him? Or does it have, like, a guarding component that helps it go off? Because it looks like the uh, Doshigama's attack definitely lands before the explode. Yeah, I feel like it does, right? And then it just doesn't care and explodes in its face anyway, violently, which is just amazing. Wow. You know, I normally don't get the most excited for bowguns, but anyone who is bowgun inclined is eating well. Was that like a multi-hit? That looked like Pierce ammo, right? Like that was going down him, I think? Oh my god, that's the that's the battle off with the bowgun! You put the bowgun in his fucking mouth! Oh, then you fire it out point blank down his gullet? And it's not as cool as the, you know, obviously the shoulder great sword uh, pushing it into the mouth battle, you know, everything like that, but wow! Yeah, okay. Nothing crazy going on in the background, nothing uh, ridiculous to uh, really spot, but there is, oh, I guess, you know, you got, you got your climbing, you got your climbing wall there to uh, go up on uh, to the next little section of the map, so there we go. But yeah, wow, no, I am impressed. The heavy bowgun is looking really good, both visually and mechanically. That's a really solid take, and it just really makes me more and more excited for, you know, all of the other weapons that are still to come. Let me know what you guys are thinking, of course, and for now, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good bye. Yeah. Cotton and hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye.